Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we'll be looking at 5 medieval siege build ideas. Let's go. And at number 1 we have one of the smallest builds on the list, but one of my personal favourites. It is the Ballista. This little ballista is easy to construct, mobile on the battlefield and was used to fire large metal bolts and javelins. For the build itself, it is constructed with dark oak and spruce materials, using some tricks with trapdoors and signs to add more depth and shape to the build, finally adding some extra details with the grindstones, chains and a lever at the back. All in all, a great little build, quick and easy to construct as part of any siege or castle defence Minecraft bases. Next on the list, the battering ram. The battering ram consisted of a large piece of timber or log with a reinforced metal point at the end. This log would then swing back and forth, smashing down castle gates and walls, allowing the soldiers inside the enemy's fortified positions. For the build, it is constructed with spruce logs and planks providing the structural support. Then we have our large timber log suspended from chains above. All this on top of some wheels to allow the ram to be pushed up against a castle gate or wall ready to be sieged. Another simple and easy design that can work perfectly for a medieval castle build or a besiegement scene. For number 3, another compact design, this time we have a catapult. The catapult is a versatile medium to long ranged weapon used to throw projectiles such as steel balls and rocks towards the enemy castle walls. The build once again mainly constructed from spruce and dark oak materials but also features some fun little details such as a cauldron acting as a bucket for the arm. Then we have barrels in the middle with the black strips looking like the elastic or rope that is being tied around the wood to create the tension for the catapult to fire its projectiles. This one is also built on top of some wheels to simulate that it can be easily moved around on the battlefield and also works great as a defence weapon when placed on top of some castle walls or some castle towers. Things begin to increase in size as we look at number 4 now. Here we have a trebuchet. The trebuchet is similar to the catapult but has a longer range and operates by using a counterweight at the front. That falls down, swinging the arm around and throwing the projectile. As this build is a lot bigger than the others and includes a lot more details with the use of signs, buttons and trapdoors, we also have a large counterweight made with various stone blocks at the front, and of course have the projectile hanging from a chain at the end of the arm. This build does not have wheels this time as we wanted a more secure base structure with the use of these large legs, giving it the support it needs due to the increasing amount of stress caused by the stone counterweight at the front. I really like how this one turned out and due to the lack of mobility I can see it being used in a defensive position or an offensive weapon for larger scale siege attacks or battle scenes. Last but not least we have the Siege Tower. The Siege Tower is a mobile tower that can be pushed up against castle walls and gates. A drawbridge then lowers and gives the troops the ability to scale the tower and easily access the top of the walls. For the build, it's using a similar block palette to the others, while also introducing some new textures. We have the main body constructed with dark oak and spruce logs, along with the other dark oak and spruce materials for some of the details. At the bottom, we have large wheels to allow the tower to be pushed through all kinds of terrain. We also have a ramp out the back to allow the troops in and out of the tower. Then at the top, we have a drawbridge that is attached by a pulley system made from deep slate and using some other techniques with grindstones and smokers. Out of all the siege builds, this one has to be my favourite. I think the scale turned out great, and with this one being my most recent siege build, I can definitely see where I've learned a long way from building each of these weapons. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this little showcase of my siege builds, and there will be links down in the description to the tutorials for each of the builds. With that though, we are at the end of the video, and if you enjoyed them, please leave a like and consider subscribing. I want to thank you very much for watching, and until the next one, bye bye.